What is going on guys? Welcome to Holodisc and today we're gonna show you the best weapons in Cyberpunk 2077 and how to get them. So let's start off with number one. We got Lizzie's pistol which is one of the best pistols in the game and you can get it right after finishing chapter one. But what you want to do first is wait until nighttime because you won't be able to get it during the day. Then what you're gonna have to do is come to this fast travel location right here which is right next to Lizzie's bar. Then what you want to do is follow the route shown in the video Then go to the back of the server room, enter this door, and the gun will be on the table right here. Please note that this pistol is an iconic weapon. Though it may start as a blue tier weapon, you can upgrade it into a legendary and do insane damage with it. Next weapon on the list is a smart submachine gun called Machine Gun Prototype Mark V. To get this weapon you're gonna have to come to this fast travel location shown on the map, And you want to go into this military base and run all the way to the back of the base until you reach a container with an open door. Before you get inside, make sure to blow up or disable the mine inside the container to prevent any damage. Then just hop inside and just to the left, you will find the machine gun prototype Mark V. At number 3, we got one of if not the best katanas in the game, called the Satori. And you can get it right at the beginning of the game. So what you want to do is go to the roof of the building near the end of the mission and collect the sword from inside the helicopter. If you miss the sword during the main mission, there's actually a glitch which we've talked about in a separate video, which you can use to go back into the building and collect the sword anytime you want. Another pistol on the list is Skippy, a talking smart weapon, which is also my personal favorite. To get this weapon, you want to have to come to this fast travel location on the map. And then you want to come to this location right here. Then what you want to do is come into this alleyway. And there's going to be a body with the gun right next to it. When you pick up this weapon, you will trigger a quest. In this quest, you're gonna have to choose one of two operating options for your gun. One of the options being the puppy loving pacifist, where your bullets will be targeting the legs of your enemies. And the other is the stone cold killer, where every shot you fire will be a guaranteed headshot. Now this part is very important. So if you want the headshot option permanently enabled, what you wanna do is select the puppy loving pacifist option because the gun will automatically and permanently switch to the other option after 50 kills. Another important part about this weapon is that when you are going for the 50 kills your shots will be non-lethal so if you want your kills to be registered you want to shoot the enemies again after you take them down. After you get your 50 kills it will automatically trigger a conversation with your gun during which you're gonna have to choose the I don't know option to permanently switch the weapon to Stone Cold Killer mode. One of the best tech weapons in the game is called the Widowmaker. Does this weapon deal a insane amount of damage, but also it allows you to see enemies through walls. The only way to get this weapon is during the story mission Ghost Town. During this mission, you're gonna have to choose to help Pan Am to get her revenge on Nash. Note that if you do not choose to help her in this scenario, the weapon will be lost forever. When you've helped Pan Am and defeated Nash, you can go to Nash's corpse and claim his weapon for your own. And finally, the last weapon on this list is a throwing knife called Nihon, which you can get at the very beginning of the game. So to get this weapon, you're gonna have to progress the main mission until you reach a certain point where you'll be standing near a dead body. 
So what you want to do is go near the corpse, examine the body, and the throwing knife will be right on him. Hey guys, as always, thank you very much for watching my video. Please like and subscribe, and leave a comment to let us know what you think. And finally, ring the bell icon to be notified about our latest videos.